Okay, the tour is starting right here. So now we're going to go over here to see the garden shed. This is where the garden tools are kept. And here you can get on a garden shift. We have a small herb garden here. The comfrey, uh, radishes, marjoram, and lettuce, or excuse me, parsley, which has gone to seed over there. Here are all the garden tools. If you're on a garden shift, you'll get your tools from here. And when you finish about 8 o'clock, please bring the tools back here. Don't leave them in the, in the, uh, in the grounds. Okay, we're going to bypass the kitchen for the moment because there's somebody out there. The people are getting the lunch ready. Do you have any rosemary in the ground? Yes, you'll see it in a minute. Okay. Now we're going to go inside and we're going to see the cyber lounge. We have the bookshelf here. Uh, you're welcome to uh, take any books into your room and read them. And please, at the end of the week, bring the books back. This is the beginning of the mini kitchen. You can make coffee and tea here in this kettle. We usually keep coffee and tea here and we keep uh, brown sugar. This is raw sugar. We don't have white sugar here. Um, back in here is the cyber lounge. And uh, this is uh, Christoph. Christoph at the cyber lounge. Hey. We also have flowers out in the balcony. This is a favorite place that Sharon likes to sit and do her creative writing in the afternoon in the balcony. So you have a nice sea view here. It opens up at about 9 in the morning and it closes at 10 o'clock. So I would request that you to keep uh, it in my personal space. You can still get the wireless signal up until I go to sleep. Let's see if we can get the wireless signal will go to all the rooms on this floor. Goes out the patio, goes to the you goes to your. So this is a mini kitchen that we call it. Oh yeah, we have t-shirts for sale. The Cali Cali t-shirts. We're getting new ones printed, but these are the only ones we have left at the moment. Back in here is the rest of the mini kitchen. So we have a private fridge here. The private fridge you can keep anything you want in here, but please uh, take paint and mm -hmm. marker and 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 mark your own stuff on your private fridge. Smoker's table, you can see just back in the back of here, has been moved, so it's to the side of the yurt. This is the yurt, where you can sign up for a massage, do a Reiki really session. You have a one-to-one -one session of some sort in here, and you can use, you can sleep in here overnight if you book it. There is a little, there is a little uh, board in here with a felt, with a, one of these uh, board markers to sign it up and book it ahead of time. Very good. <laughs> so you will notice that there are flowers and plants everywhere. With the strawberry bed back here, there's a gardenia plant that Sharon planted last year that's there. Didn't get enough sun, but it's coming along now. I think it's going to thrive. And there is a tremendous amount of watering that has to be done here because it's so hot. But you can only water in the morning before breakfast and the evening after six. So that's why we have our gardening ship at six o'clock. The hammock area. This is your hangout area. Uh -huh. And uh, somebody is already in the hammock area, hanging out. <clears throat> so we invite every participant who comes here to take one of these cans and paint it. Our, our two ducks yeah. and two chicks. And uh, yeah, oh, I don't, if you ask me what they're for, I can't tell you, but they're, people like them. And uh, if you want to feed them, we feed them three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The main uh, structure for our workshop is uh, this gets uh, knocked down at the end of the season, and a big job in the beginning Some of the season is to put own. it up. Mm -hmm. And it, believe own. me, it's no. a big job getting it up. Okay. So it doesn't have any center no, support, so it's a reciprocal yeah. frame structure. So you can see we have various places. We're growing corn, we're growing green beans, we're growing peppers, aubergines, lots of stuff. And every year we, we take more area to be cultivated. So here's some more plants, cucumbers, uh, okra, and more wild spinach growing. We have a drip irrigation system here for the plants up in this area. But you see there's a lot of, there's a lot of garden work to do. This is our compost area, and the compost is now going in right here. So now we go to the top terrace. Meditation Sanctuary, which is just built uh, in the May work camp. And uh, it's a very nice, peaceful, calm place to sit 
quietly. Normally between 8.05 in the morning and 8.30, there is a guided meditation in here. It's mostly silent, but sometimes a person who's guiding it will say something to you. Uh, we have an old cherry tree that's died here, and I last year planted a new one to take its place. It's coming along quite nicely. From the sanctuary, you have a beautiful view of the sea. So here we have a tent. You can see that we have set up right at the moment one, two, three, four tents, and we, so we probably have to have another tent. So the, just, the tents are always here? The tents are here in the summer. And be sure to take your take off your stuff when it's dry. Mm -hmm. There's not that much uh, line. Right. Up in here, you have got plastic bowls, medium-sized glass bowls, and small-sized glass bowls. All the glasses here, and all the cups and mugs here. Over on the right-hand side, there we don't use the... Uh, what is that called? Microwave. microwave. We don't use the microwave. That's the owner's. So it's stored away. So here we keep all the plates and bowls. There we hang up these, what do you call them? Uh, peelers, and we hang up the tea strainers. Other than that, all those small tent utensils go in here. And the, the three drawers down have uh, supplies. You see underneath the white table here, bulk supplies in these four big garbage pans. Chickpeas, brown rice, lentils, probably muesli. And then they go on the, they go into bigger they go into smaller buckets, but fairly big buckets, air raid here. No, because nobody labeled it. I have no idea what it is. This is something can you guess where that goes? <laughs> it goes under the other platters to the right. Bottom right under in that little nest there. And uh, I think everybody knows that we label all the food. We we don't put leftovers away in the in their bowls in the fridge. We always put them in uh, Tupperware and label them. Take the masking tape in this drawer here, put the pen, and say, for example, rice Friday. So I think that's the end of the tour. Any, any questions? I mean, there's a lot to take in at once, and you won't remember it all.